Manchester United legend David Beckham has given an update that there will be a takeover. He said that there will be a takeover. It is the right time. We all have our opinions on who should take over. But in my opinion, it is about who cares about the club the most and will take the club back to where it should be. Everybody knows I am a Manchester United fan, and I have been very vocal about the situation that is happening. I grew up there from a young age with a lot of stability with the same manager and the same owners. Manchester United will always be one of the biggest clubs in the world. We need to get back to that for the fans, the players, the manager, because at the moment, there is no stability. We need to get the talk back on the field, not off it. I want to see an ownership group who will take the club back to what it should be. I am not saying the past owners have done a bad job, but it is the right time for someone else to take over. On the other side, Manchester United legend Gary Neville claims David Beckham is with Adidas because of him, but he has not received the recognition he deserves. He said that, do you know something? You know David Beckham is with Adidas because of me. I gave him his first pair of Predators in the USA in 1994, and that is a true story. My friends at Adidas, I don't get the actual recognition I deserve for that. Meanwhile, Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag is the source of discontent in the disgusted dressing room, talk sports Alan Brazil has been told. This is after Ten Hag banished Jaden Sancho from the squad and facilities, including the canteen, following their public spat after the players' training performances were publicly scrutinized. The Dutch tactician also caught flack from many onlookers over his handling of Cristiano Ronaldo before the five-time Ballon d'Or winner departed for Al Nasser. He said, This is only what I heard. A Man United player told someone I know very well that they are not having the manager. They're not having him. Definitely not. By all accounts, they're disgusted at the way he treated Cristiano, and they say Sancho is a great guy who works his socks off. So I don't know who to believe, to be honest. Elsewhere. West Ham are reportedly set to make a fresh bid for Harry Maguire in January. David Moyes tried and failed to land the maligned Man United defender in August. But 90 Min claims he remains interested and is ready to offer a new pound 30 million bid. Again and again. Sancho's rocky relationship with Eric Ten Hag. Jaden Sancho and Eric Ten Hag are no longer on speaking terms, according to reports. The pair have seen their relationship hit rock bottom after their public spat and iNews claims neither man is talking to the other as both refuse to apologize. It means Sancho is likely to leave United in January, with a return to Germany possible. Meanwhile, Hoyland confident of Rashford partnership. Rasmus Hoyland reckons he can form a mighty attacking partnership with Marcus Rashford at Man United. He said, I really like and enjoy playing with him. He is a world-class player. He's a player I've looked up to, even though he's only a few years older than me. He has done well since he came in as a 19-year-old and scored against Midgilland. I think he has been a great player ever since, and it is of course great that we are teammates today. Meanwhile, Keane slams Onana starting Roy Keane reckons Andre Onana has got off to an awful start at Man United. The new goalie has made several big mistakes and appears unsure of himself after a pound 50 million move from Inter Milan. Keane told Gary Neville's podcast, he, Onana, has had a very bad start. Being a goalkeeper at Man United is a difficult position. You need a big personality after making mistakes. He's already made six or seven big mistakes. It's not a very good start. Elsewhere. Marshall future in doubt. Man United could release Anthony Marshall on a free transfer next summer. The striker will be out of contract after nine years at the club. But his injury record has been woeful in recent years, with Marshall netting just 11 league goals since the 2020-21 campaign and ESPN says United could let him go to make room for a new forward to go alongside Rasmus Hoyland. So here there are Ratcliffe takeover latest news. Manchester United owners the Glazers are set to hold a board meeting in the next few days to discuss fresh proposals from leading bidder Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe has taken the lead ahead of rival Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani with his minority stake of 25%. According to Bloomberg, however, there is no certainty the Glazer family will agree to Sir Jim's new proposal, as Sheikh Jassim could up his bid for a full takeover. Ratcliffe's approach would see him take control of shares held by the American owners and by some minority investors, again and again. Manchester United striker Rasmus Hoyland is still in the running for the prestigious Golden Boy Award, after the 100-strong list for 2023 was shortened to 25 names. The prize, 
which is given to the best under-21 player based in Europe, is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year, after being established by Italian newspaper Tuttasport in 2003, ironically, the year of Hoyland's birth. An original list comprising 100 names was announced in June, with the Dane, then at Atalanta, being joined by future United teammate Alejandro Garnacho. After injury kept him out for the opening weeks, Hoyland has enjoyed a strong start to life in Manchester, scoring three times in eight games, and the 20-year-old is now bidding to follow three former Reds and a current colleague in winning the accolade. Wayne Rooney was the second recipient in 2004, and Waza was followed by Anderson, 2008, and Paul Pogba, 2013, with the latter recognized after he had left the club for Juventus. Our current number nine, Anthony Marshall, was 2015's golden boy, receiving the prize shortly after joining the Reds from Monaco on transfer deadline day. Hoyland is now striving to join that prestigious list of past winners, which also includes the likes of Lionel Messi, 2005, Kylian Mbappe, 2017, and Erling Haaland, 2020. Rasmus is up against some serious talent, with Real Madrid and England's Jude Bellingham the strong favorite to come out on top this year. Bayern Munich star Jamal Musiala and 16-year-old Barcelona forward Lamine Yamal are on the list too, with the Premier League also represented by Levi Colwill, Chelsea, Evan Ferguson, Brighton, and Milos Kerkez. Barcelona midfielder Gavi won last year, making him ineligible this time around, despite the fact he is still only 19. The winner of the award is decided by journalists' votes, with each judge giving 10 points to their first pick, 7 for second, five for third, three for fourth, and one for fifth. Votes are collated, and the results will be announced ahead of an award ceremony that will take place in Turin on the 4th of December. Golden Boy nominees are Judd Bellingham, Jamal Musiala, Xavi Simons, Antonio Silva, Alejandro Balde, Florian Wirtz, Benjamin Sesco, Giorgio Scalvini, Rasmus Hoylund, Levi Colwill, Johan Bakayoko, Milos Kerkes, Arthur Vermeeren, Evan Ferguson, Lucas Gurnadwat, Warren Zaire Emery, Usman Diomand, Arnau Martinez, Mathis Tell, Andy Diouf, Arda Guler, Bilal El Canus, Martin Baturina, Joao Neves, and Lamine Yamal. Again and again. United duo set for extensions. Aaron Juan Bissaka and Victor Lindelof are reportedly set to have their contracts extended. The pair have both emerged as handy squad players under Eric Ten Hag and United are keen to keep them tied down for a while longer by triggering 12-month extensions in their respective deals. ESPN claims the duo could then enter fresh negotiations for new long-term contracts. Elsewhere, several Man United players have been among the goals for their respective nations during the qualifying campaign for next summer's UEFA European Championship. Ahead of this month's batch of Euro 2024 qualification fixtures getting underway later today,